Okay, just a short clip here. These are my pistons lined up, already ringed, and uh, I need to pop my bearings in there, but I was going to get this on video. I marked everything. I'm using a 2 liter Coca Cola bottle rack. It's perfect because it's got eight holes, and you probably won't be building anything bigger than a V8. So you can do four like I'm doing for a four cylinder, or you can do all eight. Holds the pistons perfectly. There's plenty of room for them to play. Uh, I marked the engine front. One for cylinder one, two, three, and four. And then uh, that way you got engine front here. You won't mess up the orientation of the pistons. Also note that on a piston it has marks for the front. Those two notches right there on this one. Okay, means the front of the piston towards the front of the engine. Okay, so now I've shown that. There's another trick I've got for building engines. Well, of course, you got to have this stuff engine assembly lube. This is Molly Graphite type. Okay, but here's, here's the trick I was actually going to show. I took a ring, I, uh, one of the compression rings, and snapped it. It makes the perfect tool if you don't use the snap side, that's the sharp edge. You use this side here, okay? It makes the perfect tool for cleaning out the grooves in the side of the piston where they were. All the, all the carbon that's built up in there, so you can clean them out. And then I use a copper wire brush, a very small one, um, to clean out those grooves. But uh, when you take this and you run it through there like this right here, you can scrape everything out. Uh, that is the best thing I've come up with for cleaning the ring grooves. Okay, um, I guess another thing would be using a cylinder hone. I used one that I put onto the edge of a drill gun. And as you can see, hone the cylinder walls in that engine. And they're pretty decent. I got all the up and down lines. I left a cross hatch pattern. You can see the lines. The, that's in a swirl. <clears throat> uh, it needs a cross hatch pattern left. So you you go in and out of these holes here with the cylinder honing tool on the end of a drill gun. Uh, and the stones, you tighten them up so they're pretty snug. And you use low speed and you go in and out real slow. Um, and you just kind of rock like you're in a rocking chair going forward and backwards, uh, honing out the cylinders uh, with a drill gun and a cylinder honing tool. And uh, I'll be able to uh, hopefully put mine on video in a minute.